guys, welcome um, to the video. Um, this is an intake. Um, so in the coming minutes you will see a video where I will replace uh, radiator, uh, the hoses and stuff. But I failed to mention how the cooling system works. So this is a bit of an intake. Um, so just gonna explain how the cooling system, what type of cooling systems we have and how do they work. Um, so basically what you see on the Tiger is we have the air cooling, like most uh, bikes have that, uh, only sport bikes with a lot of cover, less, but still there's always some sort of um, air cooling. This one has air, air cooling because the engine is uh, open. Yeah, there's not really a cover here, so that's a good one, but still, the bike is um, um, equipped with um, a very good um, additional cooling, like the oil cooler you can see here, which is this, just part of the oil um, channel system. Uh, so the oil pump works and will make sure that the oil goes through all the channel and gets cooled as well. Yeah, this, this one, it's just a radiator with channels where the oil passes, wind comes in and that's it. And then of course we have uh, ethylene glycol um, with water 50-50 mix, which gives water cooling. Uh, this ethylene glycol, like this one, um, it's basically goes to minus 35 and plus 136. Um, and it's equipped to 1.5 bars, it's okay. So. This system has 1.1 bar, which means that the pressure is a little bit higher than the atmospheric one. The atmospheric pressure is one bar. So 1.1, and it does this, keeps the system pressurized so all the liquid stays in place and follows the right channels. Otherwise, it would start boiling and goes everywhere and get uh, air pockets or empty pockets of fluid, which will also get hot. This is prevented by this one. I will upgrade to 1.3. You can do that, but you have to make sure that your system can handle it. Since I have um, Samco Sports um, uh, hoses, uh, these can handle it. And I also know that the Triumph itself can handle it. With old uh, deteriorated hoses, I wouldn't do it. But with this one, I trust it. Just so you know, pressurized system. It's a vacuum system. Um, and then, of course, it works in different stages. Um, so base, base, basically, I'll show you. Here you can see you have the fuel pump. Yeah, so this will pump the water in this direction via a bypass hose. It's called, and this is another bypass hose. So it connects here from the radiator top, and this one here. This feeds the engine, you have a cooling jacket, it's uh, separate from the oil, it has to be. Um, and then the water gets turned around, here and there, it dissipates heat, or takes heat with it. And here you have a thermostat, yes, here we have a thermostat. And basically what it does, it opens a valve in here, so when the engine gets at about 88 degrees, this one will open. And let's the, the coolant passes here and come into on the other side in the top see comes in here and then gravity will make sure that the water goes in channels like this and comes back out there this is actually for um, bleeding the system if you um, opened it or you replace coolant you should bleed the system with this one where it helps and then here you can see it's coming back and the cycle is closed. We also have an overflow tank, which means that every bike has it or car. It's just an accumulator. It has additional fluid that can be used or fluid can be ditched. You have to make sure it's between minimum and maximum, minus at, at, at the max for uh, at this moment. So this is a good uh, sign. And of course, you can see here when it starts to boil, or I mean, boil and it gets really, really hot, you will see that the fluid gets pushed in, in, in here. And when it cools down, it will get, get, get sucked back in because water, when it gets hot, it will 
ex expand and it will retract again. So that's why you have this. Now, of course, we already explained this. So I think we're almost through it. Here, this is an important one. If you want to drain the system, you have to release that one. I see a little bit of fluid. So I need to make sure that um, the seal is still okay. So it's good that I noticed this. It's because of the light. <laughs> it's very good. So yeah. So I just wanted to share this with uh, with you guys. Of course, it also has a fan. As you can see here, this is an electromagnetic fan. I will show you a picture in the description. Um, I will show you a picture right about now. And you will see that it is 540 watts. It is 45 amps at 12 volts. So it draws 40, uh, 540 watts. So it's a very powerful one. It only works uh, on and off. It's only one uh, speed. It's not ver variable. It's just on or off. And that happens because somewhere there is a temperature sensor here. And when it says, hey, it's 103 degrees, then it gives a signal to the ECU, which you can find there. The ECU will turn on um, the fan. And then you will cool down until 96 degrees. All right. So of course uh, this is very very important uh, cooling because otherwise you will ruin your cylinder head and you will just melt your uh, pistons into the cylinder wall. So that's why you have cooling. The Tiger actually is very very good equipped because it has three three systems. And that means this bike is made or was made with the intent to go a long way. That's why they've they, uh, established this and we have to say we can be proud about it. It's, uh, it's very nice. Okay. So yeah, I would say um, enjoy the video that's coming up and uh, thanks guys. Hello guys. Yeah, this video will be about coolant and maybe I make two videos, but uh, so the first part will be uh, exchanging the radiators as well for the oil as for uh, the water and then also placing the Samco hoses. There's a kit I bought for 300 euros and well it misses one hose huh? so basically there's one bypass hose i don't have um, i'll show you which one if you ever buy the kit then you should be aware of it it's this one it goes from here back into the block you can see it here go down and it catches here you see relatively short but um, it's very very strange and this is another bypass uh, hose but this one is included Induction, as you can see i already um, get these loosened up so i'm ready to um, to start installing it so the first thing i'll have to do is remove some bolts and mounts so I can get it off there. There's only one electrical thread, which is of the electromagnetic fan. Yeah, there is a fan on the back of the, of the radiator, which is used for when the bike is um, an idle yeah, and there's no wind coming in. <coughs> and then the wind is blown to it. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. This is actually pretty weird that it's in plastic, eh? this cover, it's decent plastic, you know, it's been uh, reinforced, but why don't make this in metal, because metal will dissipate heat, if you can take like aluminium, it's pretty light, it's the same weight, yeah, it's, you can make uh, something of Tiger 1050 in here, and it helps dissipating heat, so it's like, <coughs> I don't understand, why they don't uh, invest? Well, I do understand it's cost saving, huh? but yeah, strange things.
you can see now the old cooler so this is also a system that the oil is pumped <coughs> um, through here to cool down as well which is an extra so it's air cooled by this it's um, liquid cooled and it's uh, oil cooled There's a bolt in here as well. Of course, I have to mention, if you ever uh, planning on doing this and there's still fluid in the system, then it's really important that you drain it. So the oil should, should be, I think you have to drain at least some because it's fairly high, the hose, you know, but could be you have some leakage, but maybe you can get away with it. But definitely we have to drain this one and there is a draining uh, plug on the other side uh, I'll show you and there's one on the radiator as well. This one is for um, actually for um, bleeding uh, the air but can also help. It's the same process on the other side. Have to check it. This is fun. So of course I have to remove the hoses first. Eh? At least you just turn them a bit. There we go. So these are these clamps which you cannot use on um, what you can do is you have to be careful especially if you want to reuse the hoses is well give it a click with a screwdriver and they will come off if you really yank it you will you will hurt you will hurt yourself probably so always voila like this so now all the hoses are loose and the only left is the two bolts. And now you have to be careful that you don't uh, snap the electrical cable for, from the fan. Eh? The rest should be loose. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's here. Here we go. All right, guys. So, as you can see, it's all been cleaned up. Recently. It's pretty horrible, huh? So the way you do this, I'll show you. There was a little bit of rust on it. It's star glands. Uh, don't use too much of it. But uh, basically it's for pans and pots and cleaning up your uh, kitchenware. But I always use it. It's uh, yeah, it's very, very special paste. Um, and then I clean it up here and then you, you soak it in oil and then you have it nicely and shining okay so um, now we can continue with the hoses and uh, applying the new uh, the new radiator okay okay 
So everything's done. Yeah. Remove these and cleaned up the exhaust and all that stuff. So looks fairly nice. Uh, the next thing, I removed all the hoses as well. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, it's this one. I don't know if you can see it, but that white in there. Yeah, some white powder. You should think about chalk, and probably it is, but it's only on this side. So until where it's clamped, you can clearly see. Yeah, after all these years, this one as well even has some some damage. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think it was time after nine years or ten years to say goodbye. After huh? actually twelve, but the first time it was on the road was twenty thirteen, March twenty thirteen. So that's ten years ago. But the bike is from twenty ten and it was three years in a store. Um, so yeah, then I rode it for like four or five years. So. It had its time, it's good that I change it. But, uh, really, really, really strange, but this hose is not included. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll uh, contact uh, Samco and ask him for one hose, uh, I need it. So basically, they have special clamps from Samco, and if you look at the hose, it's sil sil silicon, so you have better, um, water displacement because of it yeah it's really really smooth and yeah they just tend not to wear out they just you have a lifetime guarantee on it and they just look nice as well you can come in all colors you want them blue or red you could i took black it's the safest option um i think they look fairly nice as they are so to install them, you just remove one, install the other. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll show you. So you can't really miss. You just need to think that. Take the right one on the right spot. This one, it's also fairly easy. What I make sure is that you see the logo. Yeah. You didn't buy it for nothing. <laughs> yeah, they should actually add it one here. Eh? I don't, I don't understand why I didn't. I make them tight, not too tight. Um, when the system comes under pressure, a cooling system is always vacuum. I'll explain later when I fill it up and I um, let it run and then I will uh, bleed it and then, I'll, uh, then, then I will ex explain. But you can always tighten them more if, um, if there's a small leak. Yeah. But for now, just make them tight, not too much.
So I changed the cover. I was planning on, you know, fixing that one, but then everything broke down, so that's garbage. And I had a spare one, luckily, and I uh, greased it with red rubber grease. Uh, you still remember from, from the brakes. I'll show you a picture. Uh, so the rubber has been treated and it will be in a much better condition now uh, for the coming years to go. This flap, the only thing it does is stops uh, not um, going in the engine bay. That's it. But it has to be in a good condition. So following on that, we have, of course, this radiator. I'm sure it's... Yes. Okay. So I have to apply the cable through this place. And then you just need to fit in the hole. radiator for the oil so just make sure there are two seals here just show you you can see it All right here as well it's nicely set and rubber is around it here Okay, very important. Voila. So now the other side and then we can tighten everything and then connect the hoses. So uh, we're almost done. Luckily, because it's always the same. I think yeah, it's a half hour work and I've been two hours because uh, some rust and then some chalk and then the hoses didn't fit and etc. etc. It's always the same if you have an old bike. That's why I do this. So I have a, a clean uh, start yeah, from the beginning. But yeah, we get there. You see, it's special. That fits here in this rubber, yeah. And then this one goes in front, and this one here. I have to just turn it a bit. Uh, we'll have it. Hmm. Here we go. The fuck behind it, yes. things first again the seal must be in there first I need to make sure that the the, the thread is seated here we 
go. Just a few. Now I have to connect the hose. Eh? But I really have the feeling that these hoses are only like just, they should have made a little bit longer and guys I got an, an update so you can see here I really had to force it a bit to get it really on the edge but it's okay so here is that you know that winding stuff I don't know how it's called so the clamp is behind it and everything is really good you know it's really seated and then on this side so you can see I installed the reservoir Here's the hose, so that's okay. And then this one I had to cut. So this was actually a kit for the 2013 model. Huh? So it had an extra uh, band like this. So um, I cut it, but it seats, it seats fine. So that's, that's good. This one fitted perfectly. And now what I'm gonna do, that one was not included. So I'm just gonna cut a part of this one because that's just for the over, for, see, that, that comes here. I'm just gonna cut it like this and tie it up, up here. So it drips on this side or maybe behind it and here. So it's gonna be shorter, but that's actually fine. Um, I think I will be able to fit this one here perfectly. Hmm. So, then the thing is solved basically i have two two clamps left so maybe that was the the whole idea but there were no instructions so yeah but you can see i'm sorting it out but yeah it takes more time than i anticipated but it's gonna be okay So this one, just gonna follow it, take the bend, and give it one centimeter extra, so it should be able to give it a nice cut. So 
it's really no problem because the threads are like that the wire inside yeah what i can do is i melt it a bit yeah and then it will be fine i'm gonna use a lighter I'm gonna take that one for the sole reason it's already been on on the on the connection so it's already a little bit spread and now need some spit and it should fit right away gonna be tough this one a little bit more yeah it's cool space boom Just gonna roll it like this. Yeah. Well, I'll sort it out later. That was it. Silicon hoses, radiators swapped, and the oil cooler swapped. But I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed in uh, the length they made, uh, which is actually Samco. It's something they overlooked, or they just, um, yeah, it's just different. I don't know. Um, then also, yeah. This one, now you can see, I have to work this away, like, uh, you know, make it decent, but I'm happy that I was able to, uh, to give it a nice fin finishing touch. And from now on, uh, in the next phase, I will apply coolant, but for that, the engine needs to run. So one step closer again, uh, we're getting there. So thanks a lot for your time. Sorry for not the best quality of video. I had a lot of issues again, so has an impact on the, you know, 
on the filming but yeah i'm happy with the end result see you guys later and thanks